millimeter perfect. We're on the roof again and the solar's going on today. So we're waiting for the paint to dry in the hole we've just made for the Max fan. So now we're going to play around with some solar. And um, I've shown you these. We've got these aero brackets to go on the front. So what we've got to do is we've got to drill these to the roof rack and attach them securely to the roof rack, which is fine, you know, no problem. However, the roof rack has a little bump where the fixings for the roof rack attach it on. What that means is what we're going to have to do is grind off some of these ridges so it sits flush. And then we're going to fit these to the Rhino roof rack. Then, then we've got these to go around down each side. So these have got to be drilled into the roof rack at different sections and also into the side of the solar panel. Here is the evidence of us trying to do that, however it didn't work. So what we've had to do is grind these off. They were raised slightly and it was causing a bit of, you know, difficulty when installing the front aero bracket. So dad has angle grind these off so we now have a flat surface to work with and we've drilled through and added these extra bolts to secure it but it just takes off that that bump and makes things easier for us. Next, I drilled the holes that we needed for the screws. What we've done so far is attach the aero brackets to the edge at the front. We have drilled holes and fixed these edge brackets to each side. And we've given the base a little hoover. Um, everything needs gluing down, but that's where we're at at the moment. And then the solar panel is just gonna slide in and then we need to drill through the side of these through the side of the solar panel to fix them on we noticed there were some little sort of marks in the paintwork on the roof as well so what we've done is we've just added the rust treatment paint over those before the solar panels go down because once the solar panels go down we can't get under there and you know it's just to just to make sure that everything's okay and nothing's going to rust here it comes and because we can't get under it, we're just going to put some WD-40 on which will protect it and hopefully keep the moisture off. So we'll give it a liberal coat with WD-40 and the paint and it won't last forever but it will. It's just a layer of protection isn't it? Just one protection. Yeah, it looks very shiny after you put that on. I ordered my solar panels from PV Logic and I got two 155 watt rigid mono high density solar panel kits. I chose this brand because they work best in low light conditions, e.g. UK weather. So we're going to undo the screws where we have marked it just to make sure everything's okay. So take all of these off and then we're going to glue that down, these down, this down, bit of silicon. Then put the screws back in. Yeah. Slide the silicon in here. Silicon in there as well. And then slide the solar slide panel. Slide the in. solar panel in. That glues and then down. We'll put a couple of holes. Around the outside. This, yeah. To screw the solar panel in. Yeah. So we screwed these down because we're working on a roof rack, not the van roof. Normally you would just glue these down with silicon and put a weight on them for them to set overnight. But because we need to have them flush and in line with this, we put two little screws in so we can make sure everything's fitted. Take them out, put it back with a bit of silicon underneath as you would if you'd just do it to the van roof. <laughs> Once it goes down, it's down. Silicon time, and he's got black today to match. How very cool. Bit on the bars, just to bond it all together, make sure it's not gonna move once it's down. This also helps eliminate any rattles when I drive. Which I would like to add, there have been zero of since these have been fitted. Solar panel done lunchtime. 
Time for some food. <laughs> food and a break. And then the next one this afternoon. Will be easier because we know what we're doing. Be back soon. Lunch break is over and Pop Pop is using zip ties to fix this wire to the bars underneath this panel then it's going to run across this one so we're zip tight to this one as well the other panel is going to go down here and then we're going to cut a hole in the van there for both of the wires to go through because then that's in the corner strut of the van underneath and it's easy for dad to put the electrics in and near where the battery's going so that's what we're doing now before fitting this next one in and i've had to put another layer on because i'm far too cold <laughs> Now this job was slightly nerve wracking because you had to drill through the side of the solar panel to be able to fix it down. But that meant that there was a chance that the drill could hit it and break it, but luckily it didn't. Yay! We repeated this process a couple more times on each side with complete success. Each solar panel has a wire coming out which needs to go into the van to connect to the electrics to make them work. So dad zip tied these to the roof rack to make it nice and neat. So we tape the ends because it's now be, live. We'll be generating electricity out here, even so in here. So don't want to, to electrocute us. Just don't want it to short together. Really. Oh, error. Error. So we have this this here, which is going to be placed over the top of the holes that the wire from the solar. We're going to have to drill through the top of the van to get the wires down and obviously we need to protect it from the element so it'll all be siliconed in with one of those afterwards. So we've got the first solar panel officially in, screwed in, finished, glued in, everything. And Dad has zip tied that cable underneath here to where he is now. And this is the area where we're going to drill through and come go through the roof. So we're just setting that up now before we put the second solar panel on. So dad, using all the tools, first drilled a pilot hole, then used whatever this thing is to make the hole big enough for both wires to go down. We added a touch of paint and while that was drying, we moved on to fitting the other side. Now, as you can see, this bar needs stabilizing from where we've cut off the roof rack. And those aluminium edges not only are going to support and fix the solar panels in, but they're also going to act as a stabilizer for the bars that we've cut on the roof rack as well. And that's the second side on. Uh, probably took half the time as the first, but we have drilled in through on all the three bars. The aero bracket is drilled in at the top and obviously down this side as well. We're now going to hoover this section off, get all this, you know, there's loads of, um, loads of scrap metal bits in here that we need to hoover off. I've painted that, brush treated that again. We're going to lay the panel down. Then we've got to feed the wires through that hole that we've made. Add on this, silicone that down before putting the actual solar panel back on with all of the silicon bonding stuff, whatever it is, that glues it down. So that's where we're at now. Dad's just bringing the hoover up for me. <laughs> So I hoovered up our mess from the roof and then gave it a little clean before we added in the next solar panel. It's fun in the middle. That looks bloody good. I think we've done a grand job there, Dad. Yeah, I think <laughs> this second one has just slotted in. Millimeter perfect. Look at that. <laughs> so we just had to make sure that fitted before we have to slide it off fix the uh, plastic thing to the roof and then we'll put it back on with all the glue and everything but that looks pretty good to me that's just a piece of, of uh, board we've got to sit on so just ignore that but it looks really good and then i can take the plastic off the van once these are in yeah. <laughs> take take definitely take a picture yeah Next up, we have to fit this lovely plastic contraption to make everything waterproof. Because this is just a bare hole, you know, with metal, and we're gonna put these wires through it, what dad is going to do is make something called a grommet, which is going to go around the edge of the metal to protect the wires. 
because if these wires rub against the edge of this, it will potentially cut this and then you know you're shorting out and you'll have electrical problems. So we did go to the shop before we arrived today to try get some what's called crocodile teeth to go around it but he didn't have any in stock. So what he told us to do was just use another piece of wire a bit like one of these, a big thick piece. Use a Stanley knife, score down the inside of it and use this wire to go around the hole to protect. And I thought that was good, save us going to the shop. So um, that's what Mr. Genius Man is doing over there. And then we're gonna fit it in and see, see hopefully it works. It's just two and a half mil um, household wiring cable, taken the wires out and then this will slide round here. We'll... And this is what our homemade grommet looks like. And we'll fill it up with RTV anyway. Yeah, make sure it's waterproof. We'll put the same around the edge of this to make sure it's waterproof. Just had to feed the wires through and make sure there was no excess on the roof. And this is what it looks like underneath with the wires coming down and they're going to be fed down this column here because it's hollow already. So they're gonna go down here and then the battery, sorry, the place is a mess, but the battery's gonna sit underneath the seat there. So that's why we've decided to run the cables down there. Perfect. Perfect. Make sure to put plenty of RTV slash silicone around the outside on the edges and as you can see my roof is not flat so we had to fill in those gaps as well to make sure it was completely watertight. Because this is not screwed down like the other two vents I'm going to make a, a pressure point on it to hold it in place while it goes off with this piece of wood and some wedges that we made earlier. So it just holds it in place. Just means that there's pressure on it to keep that right. down and set, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it means that we can put this in now. Solar panels and, going in. And we can get, we've checked, we can get those out tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah we'll let it all set overnight, come back in the morning, pull these wooden bits out and then we should be done, shouldn't we? Yeah. The fact the silicon matches the bars makes me very happy. Edge. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Push it. Push. Push, 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 push. That's it. That's as far as it can go. Yes. Six. We're finished. We've just, just finished. Just put the last panel in now. Please give a warm YouTube welcome to the wonderful man that has loaned us his barn for us to do all of this work in. So yeah, the fan, oh, I can take this off now. Um, yeah, so two solar panels, the fan in the middle. That board moves, obviously. Yeah. Yeah? Marvellous. Good, isn't it? Marvellous, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've made some good progress this week. Very impressed. Yeah. How's your television going, really? Um, yeah, good, good. Yeah. I've got um, over 4,000 subscribers <laughs> watching now. 4,000 people care what we're doing. <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it? And this is the end result of our hard labour. It looks beautiful. We're going to come back in the morning once it's set and finish off, so we'll catch you then. It's the next day. I am utterly, physically and emotionally exhausted. Hats off to anybody that kits out a van full time. We've done four days of it and um, I've had enough. As you can tell, my mood's a bit flat. Probably not gonna get a video out. It's Sunday today, and I'm meant to get a video out either today or tomorrow. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't have the mental capacity to edit right now, so uh, you'll have to wait a few days, I'm afraid. Anyway, we are here. All we've gotta do is drill some screws into the side of the solar panels to anchor them down properly now everything's set. So let's get this done so I can go and have a nap. <laughs> let's have a look. I mean, you can't even tell. She's got a roof light in. Let's get up. So 
Say hi, Dad. Morning, people. Last four screws, <laughs> and then it's finished. Thank God. <laughs> And here's that nerve-wracking job again of drilling into the side of the solar panels. But you know, you do something once, you get a bit of confidence, it's easier the second time. Oh, there's nowhere to put your feet anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Same again on the other side, whilst balancing, trying not to fall backwards down the front of the windscreen. It's manoeuvring when I keep, I've not gone the right way there. On the roof, roof acrobatics. <laughs> By a 68 year old Neil. You'd never know you were <laughs> nearly 68, it's ridiculous. Right. Job done. Job done, thanks, Pops. That looks pretty cool, even that says on myself. Yes, it's good, isn't it? We've done a good job there. Now I can finally peel this off. Are we ready? Some ASMR. And that's it, four days of hard graft. Finito. So proud of the work that we've done. Here is the final roof shot. Skylight in. This section is going to be decking. Solar one. Max fan. Solar two. The aero brackets on the front are so good. They make all the difference. I mean, look, you can't even. It just looks like the roof rack. So if anybody's interested in those, I will drop you a link. I ordered them through Gaz and um, they're bloody beautiful. <laughs> Look how packed it is. <laughs> right, so we've got three big heat sheets, a King's fan, that we've been keeping up in the barn, but they're coming home with us. Because now all the roof stuff is done, I can finally start insulating. Ah, I've had this stuff and the wool for nearly a month, and it's just been sat there. So taking that back, because I can do that, I can cut those, measure and cut those, and at home, I don't need to be in a barn for that. So this is the state of the van now. I haven't driven her in five days. She's been sat up here. Here's my baby. for another week i am so chuffed with the progress we've made thank you for watching this episode and making it to the end bravo if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done already subscribe hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when i next post a video and i will see you in the next one peace out but what 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 what, but what that means is on drill these what's it called the roof rack <laughs>